What's up, homies? It's your homegirl, Natalie. Today, I will be trying to recreate 2020 winter trends within my wardrobe. Um, initially, I was gonna go to the thrift store and just try to thrift these trends, but we are currently in our third wave of COVID cases here in South Korea. So I thought, you know what? Who's trying to get COVID because they were trying to film a video? Not me. So I decided just to stay in my damn house. Just gonna look through my wardrobe and see if I can recreate any of these things. Trends always come and go. With that being said, this year, a lot of the trends have been something from past eras. So especially if you do thrifting, then that means you probably have it in your wardrobe. I'm hoping I do have some of these things. But before we get started, I wanna give a big old thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. He was like, you know what, girl? I had enough. I'm a I'm sitting in the sun. Oh, you look so cute. Let me show you. Where my phone at? Hey, baby boy, you okay? <laughs> Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. I really hope you guys will show your support for Squarespace by clicking the link in the description box. That is super duper important to me and to Squarespace. So yes, just give a click. That's all you gotta do, you know? <laughs> all right, so let's get started with the video. So I just found some articles online from Marie Claire and Cosmopolitan to see what is in trend, because I don't know, I just wear what I like to wear, I guess. So first thing is again, 70s fits. We already know from fall, 70s was already in, especially the green prints and all the other stuff. Winter though, they're saying more burnt oranges and corduroy. I got that stuff in my wardrobe. Corduroy is definitely something that I've seen a lot in thrift stores. So before you decide to go out and buy something, why don't you try out a thrift store? Maybe you can find something that's more unique and affordable. So here we get to our 70s burnt orange corduroy trend. So I went with these corduroy pants that I almost forgot that I had. I was gonna go with the same corduroy pants I've been wearing in like a lot of my videos. <laughs> I got these from GU and I paired it with a striped crop top that I got from H&M. Because there is some white in this crop top, I also paired it with some white booties. Throwing on just more corduroy, I put on this corduroy blazer that I absolutely love. I was really like, should I wear the beret? Should I not wear the beret? I don't know. To really drive home that burnt orange look, I was like, okay, let me put on a beret. When you're dealing with corduroy, you're you know dealing with more of a like brown tones, right? Which makes it really easy for you to create a monochromatic look look. Monochromatic outfits always will make you look like you put a lot more effort into your outfit. And next we have cold weather leathers. Cold weather leathers. Cold weather leathers. Anyways, um, I don't really have all that much of leather. I definitely wanted to go ahead and thrift some leather pants. I've been wanting to do that for the longest time, but I just never made it out to the thrift store and I won't be making it out now, so oh well. But I do remember I got a leather like button up jacket thing from yes style so i think i will be styling that one so let's see how i managed to style this trend as i was putting the pieces together i was like i don't know if this is gonna really work definitely the shoes literally elevated me physically and elevated this outfit spiritually <laughs> so the key piece of this layering look is definitely this belt. If I didn't have it on, it just looks really boxy. I wore these shorts from Pomelo, and then I added in my pleather button up from Yes Style. I think a nice little touch were these glasses. Added in a turtleneck underneath. This is my GU warm turtleneck. So making sure that I'm nice and cozy. I mean, pleather or leather, it's definitely going to retain heat a lot. Even right now I'm sweating. When you're cinching anything at your waist and you have a lot of extra fabric, place the most amount of fabric on the area that you want to create shape with. You just move the fabric around to your hips so it creates even bigger illusion that you have some bigger hips. If you're someone that's like, I just don't want this to look so bunched up, then I just put everything to the back. If I'm going to take a photo, it's going to be from the front, not from the back, so like, whatever. Okay, puffer jackets. It's so funny that this is considered a trend when in Korea, this is like just a winter staple. You know how birds, you know, when they're flying south, winter is coming. Now, I just look at Koreans. The moment they start bringing out that puffer jacket, I'm like, oh, Okay, it's winter time. I actually don't really own any type of puffer jacket. Normally wear like a long padding is what we call it. It's like a longer puffer jacket, especially with the really cold winters that we have here. I just like having a long padding jacket that goes all the way to my ankles. It just maximizes that warmth for me. What? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to use a little bit of your imagination here. Let's just imagine this was a puffer coat. Basically what I want you guys to see, because this is so big, I decided to go for more of a skinny jean. And then I went with some black boots again because I really just want to streamline my legs and make them look as long as I can. I just wore a sweater underneath. Does it match the coat? Hail to the now now. I just wore this big comfy fire sweater that I got from Yes Style. There we go. 
Next is like a quilted trend. I do not have anything that is quilted. I, every time I think of like quilted stuff, I think of uh, Burberry. I just know I can't afford them. <laughs> That's how I normally feel towards like quilted stuff, unless it's like a quilted blanket for your bed that definitely keeps you nice and warm. Yeah. Oh my God. So the next trend is velvet. I could have sworn I had a velvet blazer in my wardrobe, but I think I had actually donated it last year. Uh, I, I think also I did that because it didn't fit me that well. So that's why, but damn, damn. Velvet to me just can look very romantic or chic, or you can look like a vampire. The ones that I'm seeing are like really bold colors, which I wish I could find. I don't have anything velvet, but I do have like velour. So I'm going to try to switch up that piece. Alvi. Hey, Alvi. Is this really like the velvet trend that people were looking for? I'm not sure. Did your girl try her best? She definitely did. Normally when I wear these pants, I just always wear a big old comfy sweater because that's just the most comfortable. But instead I thought why not just throw in a white button up and do that kind of like a sweater vest situation. Throw on a little pop of color with these boots. I tried to make it look as uh, sophisticated and vampire chic as I could. If I had the big puff sleeves, then this would have really like taken it there. This next trend, I, you, you would think that I would be on it. I, I feel like I just haven't found it because I haven't shopped for it in particular when, I, I don't know why I didn't, I haven't, but this is the dramatic puff sleeves. Oh man, the only one that I have is this really, it's not even like a puff sleeve, it's like a sleeve. <laughs> but it's still really cute. I'll just show a clip of my girl Kathy wearing it. This is from the How to Style Inverted Triangles video, which if you are an inverted triangle, definitely suggest you checking it out to get some tips. Okay, next is bold checkers. I thought I had some check print stuff in my wardrobe. I don't, I just have more plaid. Checkers forever and always will remind me of Vans and middle school time. That was just like the epitome of just middle school. I think the next time I go thrifting, I'll definitely keep an eye out for any checkered items because that would be cute. Wearing it in the Natalie 2020 way. For this outfit, I decided to do some pattern clashing because why not? Now, I wanna ask you guys a question. When you have an outfit that pattern clashes, what is one thing you can do to not make it look too crazy we and that's right kids we wear neutral colors to balance it out we already know which color we're gonna go for black gonna add in a hat a big old blazer ba bam got some black tights and got some docks on even though we have two very bold patterns it doesn't look super crazy because we added in the neutral colors to tone down the actual look this trend i really want to take part in it when this is the colorful faux coat strand I see so many cute coats all over Instagram. Do not have a colorful fur coat, but I have this one. <laughs> so I thought, why not just try to style it instead? So I kind of want to go for something that was a little bit more romantic. So that's why I chose this dress that I got from Zara. And of course I put a turtleneck, added in some tights underneath. You could always put in some really thick leggings if you wanted to wear this as a completed look outside. And then I also wore some cowboy boots. It'd be so freaking warm. But I felt like this jacket just demanded a purse. So I just threw on this one. And I like that this bag matches with my boots and also with the lighter parts of my dress. So I feel like this all goes together. Ooh, this trend I've definitely been wanting to try out, but I have not found anything of the sort in the stores. Or I actually haven't really like checked all that recently, but this is a statement cutout. So I think this is really cool. I love clothing items where it kind of looks like you're all covered up, but then it's like JK because there's like, you know, just a random piece of skin showing. I think that looks so cool. Now we have the patchwork trend. The only thing patchwork that I have, I already wore in the fall 2020 trends. Here's a clip of that. <laughs> I think this is definitely something that you can DIY. Do I have two pair of jeans that I could sacrifice? No, especially because I do not have a sewing machine. But if I did, I think I would definitely try my hand at DIYing something. Next is lilac. Don't really have that much in my wardrobe. I think I might have like a pair of jeans. This is a really pretty color. I feel like I should have more of this color. It makes me really happy. My colorful self happy to see that still really nice bright colors are going to be in for this 2020 winter trends. Lilac. Turns out I had a couple more pieces than I thought. <laughs> I have my corduroy pants that goes on trend with the whole 70s corduroy style. At first I was just gonna put on this tube top. It does have some purple hints in the actual print. And then I remembered I had this mesh top that I got from my friend's store, Mescalado. I think that paired so well with it. And to put more emphasis on the fact that I'm going for more of a lilac look, I also put on my little pom-pom earrings. This is definitely not a combination I would have thought of myself, but I guess maybe that's why you should definitely check out trends. You look 
look at your wardrobe with a different lens and see like, oh, how can I make this work for me? And now we have cardigans. On some sites, they just said like cardigans, just like any type of little cardigan. On other sites, it was specifically calling for fuzzy cardigans, which I do not have fuzzy cardigans, but I have knitted cardigans. It has been this year that I finally have worn them again. When I make my outfits wearing a cardigan now, it's not like, oh, I don't feel comfortable. Let me just put on a cardigan more so like, oh, this looks really cute. A cardigan can definitely complement it. First, when I was deciding what to wear for this, why don't we do something casual? But I was like, you know what, girl? What is the point of being casual? For at least 2020, most of us have been in our pajamas. So you know what? Why not dress up a little bit, even if it's gonna just be for your house? What I want to do with this outfit is just go for all little hues of blue. I was gonna wear these other blue boots that I have, but the black goes with the little black polka dot detail that I have in this dress. The white pearls, I believe, go with the belt. Actually, another trend that was brought up but I forgot to talk about was fringe. I mean, I guess we're hitting both things. Ooh. And our last trend is shearling trim. Um, I think I have one jacket that I've been wanting to donate for the longest time. Now I'm happy that it is still here. I think I just had a really hard time in figuring out what was the best way to style it, but it is now 2020. Hopefully 2020 Natalie can figure out how to style this thing. Let's see. Here we get to our shearling trim look. Shearling trim just reminds me of either 70s or 90s soccer mom. Clearly went with some 70s looks. I knew I wanted to wear some pants and boots combination. I wanted to keep the color palette fairly neutral, but I wanted to focus in onto one statement piece, which are my pants. I also remember why I wanted to donate this in the first place, and that's because I can't even give nobody a hug. This is too tight. I'm just wearing one sweater underneath. If you're in Seoul and you're trying to look for a coat like this, hit me up, let me sell it to you. <laughs> This really looks like I'm ready to go skiing or something. I don't know, is that what you wear for skiing? Oh, or am I ready to go hunting? I wouldn't do that. So that's it for this video, homies. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed me trying trying to recreate these 2020 winter trends. Let me know which trend you're most excited to try out. Also, a really big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace has a lot of features for you to use when building your website. For example, all images hosted on Squarespace can be edited directly within your browser using their built-in image editor. You can crop, resize, rotate, adjust the brightness, contrast, all of that stuff. So this goes beyond if you're photographer or artist. This helps if you're trying to make an e-commerce site for your business. With their e-commerce templates, they even have a merchandising feature to make sure that your products will look their best. And all of these designs include a mobile experience where you can see how your site will look like on mobile, which is crucial for today's market. I mean, I still see websites that have really weird formatting, even just on like your computer. So if you have it on mobile and it's even more messed up, I'm not going to click on that website again, unless I really have to but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> so with whatever you want to show the world, homies, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform. To do it on, head on over to squarespace.com to do a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, head on over to squarespace.com slash your homegirl to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, homies. That is it for this video. Once again, thank you so much for watching, homies. Please be safe out there. Please make sure to wear a mask if you're going out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy holidays, and take care. Bye.